I'd be happy as a clam to help that girl in any which way or man. Hand that over like a love. What I'd like to know, Mrs. Lawson... Mustn't Lawford. let yourself get soft. A man of your age has a lot to live for. You know what I mean? Pango, pango. You have a... You're in excellent condition. A figure like this doesn't grow on trees. Now, you go backstage. Go to your average movie studio. Go to Marilyn Monroe. Yes? You know what you'll find those girls doing? No, what? Working out! I mean, if you want to have it, you've got to earn it. That's my motto. I see. Mrs. Morford. Stand back a bit, lovey. These things have a kick, you know. I'd like to ask you about Parma Gideon. She's in pretty good shape, physically speaking. But she's young yet. Is she in good enough shape to carry Gideon's body down a flight of stairs? Oh, Gideon was such a cute little fella, you know. Every morning of our marriage, we used to open the windows wide and work out together. Now, take Morefoot. He built me this gym, but you think he'd come in here? Not old flabby. About Parma Gideon. Well, if you want to know, I think she's an innocent kid. But I never underestimate the power of any woman. It would take a pretty powerful woman to carry a dead body downstairs and prop it oh, up. Oh, I don't know about that. He only weighed 129 stripped. I know any number of women who could have carried him around. I don't. Really, lovey, my mother could have. They tell me you can pick the butler up and carry him around under one arm. Dickie? <laughs> He's a cute little bug in a rug. He's real wiry, you know. 